Hey guys, we just we've gotten a lot of new subscribers uh, during the past seven, seven to ten days, and we just want to let you know a little bit about what we're about. Um, I'm just a dad training his son uh, in boxing and life. Uh, we center the channel mostly around. Joe's boxing and his training and whatnot. Uh, Joe chose boxing as his, as his sport because he wanted to uh, get into a sport where he just mainly relied on himself and what he does uh, and not a team sport. So that's why he chose boxing. I boxed uh, so, uh, well, kind of a lot as a younger guy and a little bit in college and uh, was a little decent but nothing great uh, but Joe's doing very well at the sport extremely well we've had multiple world champions uh, say a lot of good things for and about Joe and my little mission in this is just to help young people out in this insane asylum that they live on now called Earth and to just try to help guide kids through all the things that they should not be seeing and uh, that they're forced to see and uh, to try to tell the truth about a, a lot of the lies that kids get. So uh, this is just a little bit about what we do. But I wanted to, I wanted Joe to mention something that can be very important to anybody. Joe's got some gifts. He's uh, 14 years old. Uh, I haven't measured his height here lately. He's going through another growth spurt. So. He's probably just a hair under five foot ten inches tall. Uh, no, he's over five foot nine and a half inches tall, and uh, he weighs over 180 pounds. Of course, that fluctuates a little bit depending upon what he's doing. Uh, but he trains every day. He works extremely hard in school, and uh, he keeps fighting forward in everything that he that he tries to do uh, he also steers clear of the trouble of this world which I'm so grateful for and uh, but I was gonna ask Joe to mention something because this is what always comes up in life this can be for adults kids anybody any of us uh, Joe had a test and the test was his first sparring session and this has been a good while back uh, Joe had maybe he was 12 years old maybe he had just turned 13 uh, but where we were at the guy put the best teenager he had against Joe uh, whom happened to be have all these three qualities he was the biggest teenager in the gym the fastest teenager in the gym and the strongest teenager in the gym and uh, I'll let Joe, Joe don't talk too much he's like Sonny Liston uh, another thing I wanted to mention to any of you kids if you're going through that rough of a time uh, we're open and we're available we'll find a way where you can call us or we'll be able to call you we'll make that happen because uh, one-on-one -on -one, Joe talks real good he just doesn't like the camera stuff other than uh, showing his wares online he enjoys that but uh, as far as the talking he's not he's not a very big talker but Joe I was going to ask you to uh, and you were saying you'd like to mention this what happened in your first sparring session Uh, I thought I was doing pretty well in the beginning. 
Lord our God. That God took the air out of me. And he kind of hit you right here big time, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Right there in that sweet spot. Uh, I'm going to help you a little mm -hmm. bit with this anyway. But uh, Joe doubled over. Mm -hmm. And Joe had a decision to make right then. Am I going to quit or am I going to keep going? Now, I, I was outside and I was yelling, you got 11 seconds. You got 11 seconds. But he knew he could have just stopped right then. We would have went back to the house, and that would have been that. We would have just improved on what we were doing. But what ended up happening? When you went down and when you came back up, what yeah, ended up happening? Click and I kept going. Yeah. I nope. took the win. You got it back, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Right. You got through those 11 seconds, and you got it back. And you had one more round to go. This guy was pounding on you the whole time. Uh, how'd the third round work out for you? Didn't work. It didn't work so bad for you, did it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it went a lot. It went my way. It went your way big time. You started whooping up on that guy. Uh, let me. Let me tell you, this is a little story I know Joe's going to carry with him the rest of his life, and he'll be able to tell it one day very eloquently. Uh, Joe doubled over, and when Joe came back up, he had a look on his face that didn't really show the pain he was going through. It showed how dare you have what you've d just done to me, boy. And he made it through those 11 seconds. He got his breath back, uh, got calm in the chaos, and went out there and whooped the snot out of this other guy. And he not only, and the other guy still had all the equipment that was better than what Joe possessed at the time. Uh, but it rattled that boy. That boy had been manhandling and bullying all the other guys in the gym and uh he couldn't handle it when a heart as big or bigger than his came back up on him and that's what i just try to show the young people as much as i can uh, because you need heart the heart will will overcome the deficit in size deficit in speed deficit in strength uh, the heart is is the biggest thing you need to win at anything in this world. You need the heart. And the heart, if you've got a good, strong heart, it will push the drive for you. And uh, Joe, typically what happens when we go into a gym, because we go around to different gyms as a matter of fact, like, but uh, there's always tough guys in gyms, but... Uh, Typically, if Joe goes in, we'll go in and uh, we'll Joe do a workout, a couple of training sessions, a few days, a week, and then we'll ask somebody if they want to spar. And uh, nobody accepts. Nobody accepts, right? Well, they accept it in one place, and after that fiasco. So we're having trouble even finding grown men to spar him. And uh, that was burning under my skin. And I was like, oh, my gosh, we got to get some sparring in. And, well, he gets to get some sparring in, but it's sparring with smaller guys that Joe gets them comfortable and tells them, I'm not going to hit you hard. Uh, so it's a very slowed process. And Joe actually at 14 is teaching older uh, and helping older teenagers with boxing itself. So we don't know where all this is going to lead us, but, but we know one thing. Uh, Joe's going to continue in this sport and uh, he'll go as far as he can. And he already knows he's a world champion. Uh I don't hear that much, but I see it in him. And if you put him to bear and you ask him, he's going to tell you, I, I'm that next guy. That wouldn't be these guys over here. It wouldn't be who 
uh, the great Teddy Atlas or uh, or Mike Tyson is telling you it's going to be. He would say it's me. They just hadn't figured that out yet. So uh, we. And another thing I wanted to tell you, I if something happens and I feel like I need to address something very heavily or really buckle up on something, maybe I put a video up if I'm wanting a specific person or a few specific people to hear it. Maybe I'll publish it public, but then maybe I pull it down. Uh, so if you see a video going up or coming down, it's not poking at someone and running or anything like that. It's that I don't want to turn our channel into uh, the... Once you give out to an ugly person and uh, you, you keep giving out or keep letting that thing sit there for that ugly person, it brings ugliness upon yourself and upon your group and, uh, and with you. And uh, so here and there, you'll see me put uh, some, uh, some, sometimes I'm ranting on something. I'll put a video out and it stays up. Uh, sometimes, if I'm, like I said, I'm wanting two or five or ten people just to hear it. Uh, typically, those videos stay up for about 24 hours and... Uh, and whatnot. So, uh, if you see a video up and we're I'm really getting on something, and then you see it go away, uh, rest assured, I believe 100% in what I'm saying. Not backing off there. We just don't want to make the channel and uh, what Joe's doing about that. If you see something go down, uh, we don't want the focus to go on maybe that particular thing so much love to everybody this is the most words got out of joe since then he's getting a little more comfortable uh we uh even my wife sometimes calls him sonny jr because he's not a big talker uh but uh uh he's coming along a little bit he's not if somebody if he's running the ford motor company or uh, the heavyweight champion of the world. He, I don't think he's going to be a big talker, but there's a added advantage in that, that when you do talk, everybody stops and listens. So blessings to everyone, to all the new subscribers that have come on board. Much love to you. Uh, we mean well in everything that we do. We, we, we mean for you to have blessings and uh, always remember, uh, when, when you're in the chaos and the confusion and all the bad and the ugly, that's just this much of it. And when you get through that, you got this much to enjoy. So one split decision in one second and one day can keep you in here or get you out of it and get you in a wonderful land of fantasy, of goodness for you that you never thought possible. So fight through the thick of it. Don't worry about the thin of it. That's easy. Fight through the thick. God bless everybody. And the most important thing I want to say here, our King is the King of Kings, Jesus Christ Almighty. Uh, we're not perfect. We say some things that are unbecoming. We do some things that are unbecoming uh, quite frequently. But in this family, we love the Lord Jesus Christ. So blessings to everyone and thank you so much.